Hello friends, how are you? Yes. Today, now we are going to discuss the one more concept in physics that is the entropy and its physical significance. You all know the different concepts in the thermodynamics that the different types of the systems that is the different types of the states and when state changes from one state to another state you all know how the state changes either anything one constant that means if the temperature remains constant you may call that change is isothermal if the state changes from one to another by keeping pressure constant then you call it as yes isobaric change if the volume can constant then it is called isochoric process and one more process is that that is called adiabatic process in adiabatic process which quantity remains constant yes it is entropy remains constant so now we are going to see the concept what do you mean by the entropy entropy any state is represented now like, like, suppose the state a is represented by some state variables you know the state variables so now we can write p v t and s where p is nothing but pressure v is nothing but volume t is temperature and s is nothing but entropy you can feel the pressure you can show the pressure you can measure the pressure similarly the volume you can feel how much volume is that the system how much we can measure the volume also you can feel the temperature also hot cold you can measure the temperature but the concept the introduced by the scientist named as clausius clausius introduced the concept of entropy what is entropy tumhala sagalyala maithe hai ki isothermal system madhe kay badal kay hota sanga isothermal mi ka likho maithe isothermal system madhe kay constant rahta yes temperature remains constant temperature of the system remains constant when system changes from one state to another state temperature remains constant all other quantity may get change or may not be change is it but if you consider the adiabatic process adiabatic process adiabatic process mein kya hota which quantity what that process is called the process is nothing but thermodynamic process where one state changes to another state but during that state you cannot add the energy or you cannot taken out the energy so the process in which no addition no addition or taken out taken out heat energy that means in adiabatic process you cannot add the heat energy to the system or you cannot take the heat energy from the system that means you can you call the heat energy or temperature remains constant no both are changes but what that changes so i will write here first one that means in adiabatic process the temperature and heat of the system may changes 
mean changes. Mean changes. That means neither temperature nor heat remains constant. Both the changes accordingly. Accordingly means one it changes, other automatically changes. If one changes, automatically heat energy changes. Heat energy changes, temperature changes. Because you know that the average internal heat energy is nothing but the temperature. Now, then which quantity remains constant? That quantity remains constant is called as the entropy of the system. Entropy of the system remains constant. So now tell me what is entropy? Entropy is nothing but the disorder of the system. Disorder of the system. Entropy is nothing but disorder of the system. So disorder of the system may remain state that is the constant in adiabatic process. Now we can discuss the entropy, what the concept of the entropy, how that can entropy is defined. So all, I think all the students may understand the, that is the one process where one system changes to uh, one state changes to another state. Then in isothermal we know that the temperature remains constant. In adiabatic process, the there is no addition of heat energy as well as the temperature. That means no heat is added and heat is taken out. That is nothing but neither heat or temperature may remain constant because the temperature and heat energy also changes. Similarly, the quantity which remains constant is called as entropy. We are now going to discuss the different forms of the entropy and the concept of entropy. So now this figure indicates the indicator diagram of the processes. So now I can write that is the pressure here and here the volume. So indicator diagram is the graph between any two variables of the system. I will plot the graph of pressure versus volume. So now here this isotherm you may see here, I1, T1 is one isotherm because here the temperature of the system remains constant. So now we can represent I1, I2, I3 are the isotherms. Isotherms. Isotherms means isothermal processes at temperatures, at temperatures T1, T2. P3, etc. So that means what? The I1 is an isothermal process. I1 is an isothermal process at temperature T1. That means temperature remains constant. I2 is another that is the isothermal process where temperature is T2. I3 is a another isothermal process T3. Temperature T3. Now you can consider one more, two more processes. That means A1 is the adiabatic process. This is adiabatic process. At heat energy Q1. And A2 is another adiabatic process at heat energy Q2. So this, now, this is an adiabatic process where temperature changes. This is another adiabatic process where pressure, volume, temperature all changes. But the, there is no addition of heat energy to the system and taken out but at particular temperature, at particular heat energy. So this is A1 is a one adiabatic process, adiabatic curve. A2 is another adiabatic curve. A1 curve gives the at heat energy Q1. A2 curve gives at heat energy Q2. Do you understand? Now, from this figure, we can consider the two Carnot heat engine. Already we have studied the Carnot heat engine, I think. You know the Carnot heat engine. 
So now there are two Carnot cycles. I will plot here first. Two Carnot cycles. One Carnot cycle from A to B, B to C, C to D, and D to A. For this Carnot heat engine, we may say that efficiency, or you may consider one more heat engine, that heat uh, Carnot cycle, that is D, F, C, D, like this. So that is, there are two Carnot cycles. So consider two Carnot cycles. Two Carnot cycles. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. And one more Carnot cycle, that is the D, C, E, F. So this is one Carnot cycle. तुम्ही सर्वांनी बघितलेला आहे की कार्नॉट सायकल कसं असतं की दिस इज आयसोथर्मल प्रोसेस एक्सपान्शन दिस इज आयसो एडियाबेटिक एक्सपान्शन दिस आयसोथर्मल कॉम्प्रेशन दिस इज एडियाबेटिक कॉम्प्रेशन सो ईच ईच एनर्जी कार्नॉट सायकल इज हॅविंग फोर थर्मोडायनॅमिक प्रोसेस आउट ऑफ टू आर आयसोथर्मल वन कॉम्प्रेशन अँड वन एक्सपान्शन Two are adiabatic, one compression and another expansion. Is it? So that means two isothermal process, two adiabatic processes. Similarly, for this, and then the Carnot cycle. This is one more Carnot cycle. D C E C to E, C, E to F, and F to D. So succinctly, once again, gives to the original here. Similarly, succinctly, the that it goes once again originally. to the incident point but having different energy changes that means adiabatic changes so now we are going to give the we know the efficiency of carnot cycle already we have derived the equation for efficiency of carnot heat cycle that is efficiency is given by heat taken out that means work done q1 minus q2 heat given so at the process that means at the state when state is at a the energy of the system is q when it changes to b energy changes energy that is q2 is the energy of this system so now the efficiency is this is work done divided by that is the heat energy initially similarly the efficiency can also be defined as T1 minus T2 divided by T. We have already done expression in the video. We have done the expression. We have done the expression. We have done the expression. What it gives? What it gives? Entropy. This is efficiency. It is always constant. We know that. Efficiency. Both the cycles are set. Both the cycles are set. That means efficiency of this cycle remains constant. So now this quantity. आता Q1 ला Q1 ला डिवाइड करा Q1 डिवाइडेड बाय Q1 Q2 ला डिवाइड केला Q2 डिवाइडेड बाय Q1 दैट इज इक्वल टू T1 ला पहिले T1 ला डिवाइड करून घ्या T1 डिवाइडेड बाय T1 माइनस T2 डिवाइडेड बाय T1 दैट इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट समोल का बघा एक प्रेम नाउ वी कैन प्रोसीड फर्दर फ्रॉम दिस एक्सप्रेशन वी कैन राइट From this expression, either Q1 Q1 cancels or one will remain. T1 T1 also cancels. So one minus Q2 divided by Q1 is equal to one minus T2 divided by T1 is equal to constant. So we can write here one minus Q2 divided by Q1 is equal to one minus T1 divided T2 divided by T1 is constant. Do not get a one one and cut it up here. Do not get a minus sign. Cut it up here. What we get? Q2 divided by Q1 is equal to T2 divided by T1. That is equal to constant. T2 ya bus lagya, T1 ya bus lagya. Kavi Q2 divided by T2. That is equal to Q1 divided by T1. That is constant. So that means what? Q2 is the heat energy of the thermodynamic system. At temperature T, is yes. it? And Q1 is the thermodynamic heat energy at temperature T1. 
So ratio of heat energy to the temperature, heat energy to the temperature, it remains constant in adiabatic process. This constant is called as this the constant which the ratio remains constant is called as the entropy and it is denoted by DES where DES is a change in entropy. It is change in entropy. So entropy we can define if you understand I will erase it. So now DES is a change in entropy and this is defined as the ratio of heat energy dq divided by t temperature t so this is the ratio relation is known as the entropy all right s is the entropy ds is the change in entropy if you want to get the ds yes then s is equal to integration of ds is equal to integration of dq divided by t if you put the values S1 to S2, A1 to A2, so two adiabatic systems we have to take, we have taken the entropy at state A1, entropy at state A2. So that means here S is equal to DS and the integration and the inter differential can be cancelled, yes, really. Then this is nothing but integration of dq divided by t, t is remains constant, then t2. So this is the mathematical expression. This is mathematical expression for the entropy. The entropy is nothing but the ratio of amount of heat energy at particular temperature T is the entropy. So this is the order of the system. If already we know that the entropy, now we can define one second. Entropy is nothing but the heat energy, amount of heat energy, amount of heat energy to the temperature is called as the entropy. So, entropy is nothing but the ratio of amount of heat energy to the Temperature of the system. If some the system is system is that the pressure T is volume V is temperature T is Okay. And here, H is the gas molecules. Hey, gas molecules, how do you internal temperature or internal heat energy? According to kinetic theory gases, we know that no molecule is stable. It is moving in different directions. That means there is disorder already present. Disorder already present. If you provide certain amount of heat energy, again, disorder is already said. If you have direct entropy, then you can check it. And if you have heat energy, you can check the DQ amount of heat energy. You can check the temperature and the TOA temperature. Third, can chamber they have on our heat energy absorbed by the, all the molecules and they move in with more random velocities, more velocities, more velocity means more randomness created. So disorder of the system increases. Disorder of the system increases. So now we know that already there is some disorder of the system. And again, if you provide certain amount of energy, then again the heat in that the disorder increases. So now there is disorder again disorder increases that means there is change in disorder of the system. This change in disorder of the system is measured by the quantity known as entropy. Okay we can understand again the concept of the entropy in new video where the video totally depends on the entropy. What the entropy exactly? What the entropy is zero. When the entropy is zero, at particular which temperature and for which amount or which material, we can uh, see the video in next one. So, in this video, what we observe is we can first define the entropy in adiabatic 
processes where the process in which the entropy of the system remains constant. To define the entropy of the system, we are derived by considering the different isothermals and adiabatics, and we come to conclusion that the day change in entropy is given by dq divided by t. That means entropy we can define the amount of heat energy absorbed or amount of heat energy of particular system at particular temperature is the ratio gives the entropy. And if we provide heat energy, then temperature changes, internal energy changes, disorder changes, then if the, we can measure the change in disorder of the system is nothing but entropy. So the change in entropy, change in disorder of the system is nothing but its physical significance of the entropy. So what is the physical significance of the entropy? If you know the entropy of the system, you can know how much change takes place within that system. This is the physical significance. Isn't it? So physical significance of the entropy means the we can measure the how much order of disorder created in the system. Okay, this is about entropy and its physical significance. Thank you.